I picked up some conductive filament at my local micro center. It's Filament Friday. Let's print something. Now it's pretty well known that conductive foam works as a stylus on an iPhone. So I wondered, could I print a stylus using conductive filament? So I went to Thingiverse and I found the Sony stylus that I liked by user Eguire. Now the filament recommended 220 degrees C, but I chose 215 based on experience. So I set that up in my slicer filament settings. Then I went back to my slicer main screen and I checked the box override slicer settings. That way I could set them here. So I set the layer height to 0.2 and 30% fill. Now overall it took about 30 minutes to print and it came out pretty good. I was happy with the results. So I wanted to measure the resistance so I got up my multimeter set it to the resistance mode and then with the probes I put them about two inches apart on the conductive foam because I wanted to see what the baseline was for con conductivity on this thing and it was just under 6k 6,000 ohms so about five and a half so then I checked the stylus and it was conductive but it was showing a lot higher resistance 12 to 15k somewhere in that range so now the real test would it work on the iPhone and no matter what I did, how I leaned it, how I set it, it just would not work. There just wasn't enough contact area is what I thought. So I actually had broken off a piece on the end and I tried this on its side and I got it to start working. So that told me it was more than just conductivity. It needed a larger surface area. So I went back to Thingiverse and I found this printable stylus from user Loki, oh, let's just call him Loki and I sent that to the printer with the same settings. Now I didn't want the pointed top but I figure I could just cut sections off until I get to the width I wanted. So as it turns out the printer took care of that for me. When it started to print it didn't fully stick and then the one side warped. It was able to print most of it but towards the top I had to yank this thing out and it left me with the flat top I was looking for. So I went back to the meter expecting to see the same kind of measurements and because this thing was thicker I had better conductivity just about the same as the conductive foam. So then I went to the iPhone and tried it out. I found I had to keep it up straight so it needed that surface area, but it worked great. So this proves this filament truly is conductive, just it's very high resistance, so you're not gonna make circuit boards or things like that out of it. But I'm sure there's uses for it, you just gotta get creative. This was a lot of fun. So that's all I got for now. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. That way I know you're watching. And if you want to help support the channel, help buy more plastic like this, please consider donating a dollar a month to my Patreon account. Every little bit helps. So that's it. I'll see you next time.